Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the launch of the new Future Leaders program. My name is Sarah, and I'm from Derry, London, Derry. I'm a graduate of the Amazing the Space project, where I created a pledge for peace with my classmates, which was an outline of the actions we would take to make our community, our island, and the world a better place for all. I'm now a part of the Future Leaders program, working at the moment in a design group with other young people from across the island who have been involved in a wide range of programs with Cooperation Ireland. We are working with program staff to create a program of leadership training that caters to the needs of my peers. Being involved in this initiative gives me the opportunity to continue my pledge to build a better future by contributing to the design of a youth-led program that will help my generation to develop skills, build positive relationships across communities and prepare us to be potential leaders of the future. Today we will unveil a magnificent peace pledge tree here in Everton Park as a permanent reminder to our people and the many visitors to our city that young people want their voices to be heard. We want peace in our city, we want peace in our country, and we want peace across the world. I would like to introduce you to one of my colleagues on the design group, Caitlin from Cork. Hi, my name is Caitlin. I'm 19 and I'm studying Youth and Community Development in CIT now. I took part in the Youth Leadership Programme here in Cork in 2018. I was part of a group of 24 young people who came together across three communities in Cork and Cross Board and a Belfast group to undertake a sports leadership training programme. The aim of this programme is to develop our skills and confidence as leaders with the potential and belief to make real differences within our local communities. We decided to put these skills into action when we work together on a social action project to promote positive mental health amongst our peers. We chose mental health as we'd all been affected by it and it gave us an opportunity to tackle an issue which is so important in all our lives. We worked together here in Cork and we shared our thoughts and plans with our friends in Northern Ireland. We do get a chance to talk about what's important to us, what's going on in our lives, get anything out that we need to talk about, anything bad's going on. Stuff like mental health, stuff that's been going on around our area, like, cause Mental health is like a big issue in our area because there's been a lot of suicide and stuff that's happened recently. I also had the opportunity to participate in Brexit themed workshops exploring with peers from the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland the impact these were going to have on our lives. We got to engage with policy makers around these issues and we got to present our findings to politicians across the island. It was and is so important for young people to have their voices heard around issues that impact their lives. We're doing a workshop on Brexit um, with the young people. It's the second part of a two-day program. We were up in Armagh. Amazing space is the reason we're here, and thanks to them, we are uh, our voices heard. If it wasn't for Amazing Space, uh, there would be a lesser voice for young people, especially on such a matter. Now across Northern Ireland, with our partners, Cooperation Ireland delivers social action programmes annually to across 16 separate communities. From a Cooperation Ireland point of view, it's very much about providing opportunities for young people from across Belfast. Part of the project is also about bringing young people to different communities where they wouldn't necessarily travel to. Taking part in the Peace Forward programme has increased my knowledge because it's, it's improved my under understanding. Like I maybe used to say something that people would find offensive and I wouldn't even bad eye about it. It was just part of my normal language. So it's important to um, gain like a wider understanding of like people's views and how they feel about your culture and like how you feel about their culture and like talking out with each other. I gained for a start a lot of new friends. We're all the same type of person. We all like the same kind of things, doing the same things on the weekend and with so much in common that you wouldn't realise. I am so, so proud of every single one of those young people. They show great leadership uh, and the ability to give back to their community. What an achievement and what a credit they are. Well done. Well, after our initial success of the film, it was good because it gave a positive thing for our community like we've never had anything like that before and then it just showed that our whole community was behind us. When the young people first started the programme, it was they were highlighted as being involved in a lot of negative behaviour and using the time that they've been away and the stuff that they've achieved, the community are now able to see them in a more positive light. And I think that opens up into their next journey, you know, of becoming mentors and future leaders. 
my name is Simon and I'm from Ballymun in Dublin. Last year we had the opportunity to get involved in the Dublin Youth Leadership Programme with Fingless Youth Resource Club. We completed our training, then went to Northern Ireland for a cross-border residential. It was so important for us to build relationships across border, especially with the uncertainty of Brexit. Although it was a challenging year with Covid, I gained so much from this programme and it was the first time I went across border. I am delighted now with future leaders to have the opportunity to work with young people from so many different communities in the island. There are some in the group with more experience with programs like this than I have, but that is the great thing about Future Leaders, is that it brings together young people like me with other young people that I would have never had the chance to meet. Now we are working together, sharing learning ideas and getting a better understanding of each other. Now I would like to introduce Margaret Lucy, who will be managing the Future Leaders program. Thank you, Sian. Um, I am very excited at the potential of our Future Leaders, which is a training program to empower the next generation of lead, young leaders with the skills and the confidence to make a real positive influence on their own life and that of the wider society. As you will have seen, we have engaged young people from the very outset in this process, not only in creation the vision, but also in the design of the programme which was also informed by the vast experience of Cooperation Ireland in the delivery of a wide range of youth-focused programmes over the years. We will be utilising a number of active and collaborative learning strategies to allow the young participants to explore on an all-island basis a range of themes, including leadership, positive mental health, participation and community engagement, relationship building, to mention a few. These will allow them to develop their competency in a range of skills, including communication, presentation, decision making and social. The young participants will be facilitated and mentored through a number of group activities and challenges, not only locally, but also on a cross-border basis and internationally. Really inspiring in them the potential to see the difference that they can make and the active role they can play in the issues that are important in their life. The model will take on an, a, a layered approach to training, allowing our young participants to build on the experience and the learning gained as they progress through, developing their capabilities and their understandings while challenging them to work collaboratively. For example, the very first module our design group will take on will be a first aid in mental health training program. Our young leaders will be encouraged to participate in social action and volunteer, developing their support networks for themselves, but also for their peers in the community. They will explore their sense of belonging and relationship to others through the groups formed, the local groups formed, their North-South partnerships and also the international learning clusters that will be developed with their peers in the US and the United Kingdom. They will take on a range of challenges locally and together that will foster their own personal development um, so they are better equipped to adapt to and take advantage of the changes in society, the economy, employment and in life. We're facing a very busy time, but exciting time, and we're looking forward to it. And I would like to hand over so that you can hear a little bit more from our future leaders. So the residential this weekend, the big focus was setting up a youth council in Northern Ireland. So last night we were real focusing on what sort of shape this would take. A lot of decisions may affect us directly, so I think it's important we get our say, and believe it or not, we might actually have a good idea here and there. It's to give young people a voice. Friendships forming, we're actually developing and making peace in Northern Ireland as well. Have tons of youth projects, helping young people get involved in politics as well. Just so that we can we can give a voice and empower young people. This is an amazing experience and I don't think I'd ever regret ever taking part of this. It's just all in all one of the best experiences of my life. This future, uh, Futures Leaders Design Group, basically what I'm involved in, well, you know, like a lot of the other groups, we had ideas, as I said, we had ideas, we wanted to do stuff, we wanted to make change, but with this group, we can make change, we can do stuff, we can make Ireland or the world or somewhere, even one person's life better. That's all you can ask for, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, that's all you ever want is to make 
life better either if, even if it's for yourself for your family for your community for your country that would be the best thing and it doesn't really matter what anything else does if it can make and help people then that's all that really matters um i also would like you know what i mean like i want to get something out of it like helping people to love you and all and you do get you get like a confidence and a boost from it but i think tra the training like it should have i'm not too sure but it should do something to help us so that way we can forward our education and forward our lives as well hi my name is Anne. I am from Castlegg, Northern Ireland. I was involved in the Young Advocates and got the opportunity to participate in workshops to the diversity and barriers. I have been involved in the Future Leaders Design Group because it will build my confidence, I gain qualifications, and it's always good to challenge myself. Hello everyone. My name is Connor and I am from North Belfast. I am so looking forward to becoming a Cooperation Ireland future leader and especially joining others from across the island as we go through the programme which is starting here and now. Having been involved with Cooperation Ireland in the programme design team for the past few months, I can see the efforts that goes into making the programme for young people. I can also see that it takes a lot of money to plan, organise and make things happen. I therefore I'm very grateful to all ambassadors who have already come on board to support Cooperation Ireland and all new programme recruits. Your financial support and guidance gives Cooperation Ireland the independence needed to enable the young people to have a say in how the programme is planned and delivered. Without your support, this programme simply could not happen, especially in these uncertain times. Cooperation Ireland's mission to foster reconciliation remains critical. What better lesson can we teach our children about what can be achieved when all sides work together than this dream of peace that became a reality? <laughs> 